Hi everyone, Ethan here with another HTML tutorial. Today we'll just be covering the basics of what goes inside the head of your HTML document. So typically what's inside the head of your HTML document is not going to be displayed on the web page itself. However, it is going to contain a lot of important information about your website. This information is typically referred to as metadata and it's more or less information about the website. Some examples include character set, title, viewport, and description. So we have our basic HTML structure already laid out. I have the cursor within the head of the document. I'm going to add a space and tab over twice. That way I can decipher the different sections within the head of the document. We're going to start out with the character set attribute. And this is essentially a Unicode transformation format. It covers almost all of the characters, punctuations, and symbols in the world. This enables processing, storage, and transport of text independent of platform and language. So we're going to start out this meta character set by less than meta space char set equals quotation utf dash eight quotation greater than. And I'm just going to add another space. That way it's separate from the bottom of the head or the closing tag of the head. So as I mentioned, UTF standing for Unicode Transformation Format. And this enables the processing, storage, and transport of text no matter what the platform or what the language is. So after our character set attribute, we're going to add a title to our HTML page. Every web page requires a title. This title shows up in bookmarks, browser tabs, and search engines. It essentially names the page, so it's a very important tag within the head. So I'm going to add another space, and I'm going to tab over twice, and we're going to do this the same way we do with all the tags, is less than, title, greater than, and I'm just going to title this, this is my web page title. And I'm going to close that out with less than backslash title greater than. So whenever you open up this HTML page within a browser, you'll see this at the top of the browser window in the tab. The next thing we're going to review is viewport. And viewport tells the browser how to handle the web page's dimensions and scaling. We have two different attributes within viewport that we're going to use, which is width device. And this sets the width of the page to the screen's width on whatever device you're using. And we're also going to go over initial scale, which sets the zoom level when the browser first loads the web page. So I'm going to add my space. I'm going to tab over twice. We're going to do that less than meta name equals quotation viewport quotation. We're going to add a space there. And then we're going to do content equals quotation width equals device dash width comma initial dash scale equals 1.0 quotation greater than and I'm gonna zoom out that way you can see that entire tag there and like I said this tells the browser how to handle the web pages dimension and scaling after viewport we're gonna go over description description essentially describes your web page and it's going to appear in search results so it's also a pretty important meta tag to be using I'm gonna go ahead and add my spaces and I'm gonna tab over and we're gonna do the same thing, less than meta name equals quotation description, quotation space content equals, and this is just gonna describe the web page. So I'm gonna put HTML YouTube tutorials, quotation greater than to close that out. And I'll add my space there. So those are the basic meta tags that you'll need to start your HTML page. Remember this all goes in the head and it's more or less information about your website or it helps the browser know how to display your website. I hope you enjoyed today's basic tutorial on meta tags and information within the head of your HTML document. This is Ethan Dre and as always have a great day.